to facilitate works on the tram grade separation project, an occupation between South Terrace and Glenelg commenced on Saturday the 2nd of August 2025. This video aims to be a visual record of the locations that will be significantly altered during the six month close down, as well as some of the last tram movements between South Terrace and the Bay prior to the occupation. I'm sure that there are many others out there that can go through the finer technical aspects of this project. However, if you just want to see some footage of trams doing their thing along the Bay Line as it has existed for many years, then you've come to the right place. We begin at South Road, where parts of the existing tramway bridge will be replaced to allow room for works on the Torrance to Darlington project. The existing bridge is made up of eight bridge spans and each supported by columns. Five of the eight spans will be removed and replaced with one long and two short bridge spans. It is understood that the overall length of the bridge will not change and the ramps to the bridge structure will remain as is with only minor modifications planned. will replace the two level crossings at Marion and Crossroads. The level crossings are located less than 300 metres apart and after spending less than half an hour in the location at peak hour, you can understand why these crossings need to go. A new elevated tram stop will be built over the top of Marion Road, with public open space to be constructed under the bridges between the two major roads.
At Morfitt Road, the tram stop will be relocated slightly to the east and combines with the Morfittville Racecourse tram stop. Tram stop 13, Glengowie, will be rebuilt closer towards Morfitt Road and I theorise that this is where the afternoon peak services will commence their runs from. As part of a Morford Road level crossing removal, the triangle next to Glengowie Depot will also be removed. Once tram services resume, all trams entering traffic from the depot will need to head down towards Glenelg first before changing ends to run into the city.
During the closure, trams will remain operating between the Botanic Gardens, the Entertainment Centre and South Terrace. 16 trams were transferred to the city on Friday the 1st of August for this operation. Eight of the 16 trams were parked on King William Road and waited for the last service to run down to Glenelg. Once that service had cleared the section, the trams utilised the points at Festival Plaza to change direction and run to the temporary stabling yard created at South Terrace. Square, Glenelg. This tram terminates here. Exit on the right in the direction of travel. Thanks, guys. Due to the Glengowie depot being within the occupation area, a makeshift yard has been made on the up and down mains beyond South Terrace. Road 1 is the up main towards the city, and Road 2 is the down main towards Glenelg. Each road has capacity for eight trams to be stabled at one time. The shunt road to the left of the corridor has remained unaltered. Trams will utilise the shunt road to change ends before utilising the crossover between the two mains to position themselves on the up road before the next run into the CBD. This is the same operation that occurs during the Adelaide Fringe season with the Ad Loop service. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you have enjoyed it. This is a little bit of Adelaide's tramway history that will definitely have a big impact in the future years to come.
One final note, at least old mate won't have to worry about his ute getting struck by a boom gate anymore. <laughs>